Look! Enemies! Boring enemies who just stand there and do nothing. Let's fix that and try to make it interesting. Hi guys, previously we just completed the battle behaviors for the mercenary group. In this video, we'll be making idle behaviors for them. They display this behavior if they're not in battle and are extracting life essence from the trees. Just like what they're doing right now. I'll be explaining in this video my thought process, challenges, and the steps I made to make the anime AI behavior work. And by the end of the video, I'll be giving you guys a sneak peek to what's to come. So stick around. If you're new here, I'm June and I'm making a game where you play as a wisp, a glowing ball of light who can transform into different monster types to fend off human invaders exploiting your island home. So let's begin. So just like any other design we've made, we always first get reference from our lore. We do this to make the game design cohesive to the world we are building. For starters, we need to look at the motivation of the mercenary group, why they are here on the island and what their main goal is. The mercenaries are convicts, prisoners or hired bandits from the mainland that are sent to the island to gather life essence to fuel the magic of the kingdom's mages. Basically, these mercenaries are sent to the island to pay off their freedom. They're scum, the lowest of the society, heathens that defy the kingdom's order. Hence, the kingdom decided to exile these prisoners to the island. For them, this is the best way to lower crime in the mainland. This also gives jail wardens more prison space by making the whole island the prison itself. Not all of them though are criminals. Some of them are civilians desperate enough to volunteer to get coins from these contracts. For each mercenary group, the kingdom will appoint an acolyte to lead the expedition and pay the mercenaries for their contract. The acolyte is a trainee from the church and they are sent to the expedition as part of their training in handling and extracting life essence since life essence can only be controlled by devoted individuals who are well trained and profoundly skilled. Acolytes are groomed to develop sheer discipline spending a lot of time mastering their vocation and the church's teachings. If life essence is used by individuals with no training, they will grow lustful for its power. It's like an addiction they can't resist. For the untrained mind, they'll end up wanting more, making them crazy mad for power. So here we have the general members of the mercenary group. We have the guard, basically a tank. We have the support class torchbearers who support the team when it's dark and carries the group's belongings. And here, we have the employer of these mercenaries, the Acolyte, whose goal is to gather the life essence from the trees of the island. So, let's design the idle behavior for this group. Let's start with the Acolyte. We first make a behavior that will have the Acolyte walk towards the life essence as soon as it spawns, just like this. Then, let's have the Acolyte equip the Crystal Torch to start gathering the resources. We first assign this as an offhand equipment, then activate it as soon as the Acolyte is near the life essence. Now, let's make a behavior that removes this Crystal Torch when the Acolyte is casting spells at the player. Looks great! The next step is to make some animations for the Acolyte when it's near the life essence. As you can see, we are already having some sliding problems as soon as the Acolyte approaches its destination. So to fix this, we will only have the animation start if the Acolyte is not moving. Let's test it. So at the moment, the Crystal Torch is not absorbing the life essence. Let's fix that. Now let's test the final idle behavior for the Acolyte. So here, he walks towards the tree, then equips the torch and starts gathering the essence. Looks great. Now let's proceed to the next member of the group, the Torchbearer. We want the Torchbearer to be the lookout for the team. We want them to scout and patrol the area while the Acolyte is gathering the life essence. First, let's make a behavior similar to the Acolyte upon spawning. We will have the Torchbearer move towards the life essence. Then when it arrives at its destination, we will have it look around, emulating that the torchbearer is scouting for possible threats. Now, let's have him patrol the area. Oops, let's fix that. Okay, we still have issues with the torchbearer's animation when moving and searching. As you can see, it just slides around while looking. We can fix this issue by making a new layer specific only to the looking animation. Then, we will assign an avatar mask to it to only affect the upper body part. Now, this looks great. The movement is good now, but as you can see, when the torch bearer turns around, it instantly turns. 
We don't want it this way. We want him to ease the rotation a bit to show that he is turning. Let's fix that by changing the look at function. Let's change it to use quaternion slurp and add a rotation speed to it. This should make the torch bearer turn slowly. Now that this is fixed, let's fix the issue with the patrol distance. It seems that it's not really useful for the torch bearer to scout this close to the life essence. We want him to scout further. Let's fix this by giving him a larger scouting range. As you can see, the range is bigger now and the torch bearer's scouting animation mixes well with the walking animation. Now, let's test him together with the acolyte. While the acolyte is gathering resources, the torch bearers are patrolling and scouting the area for possible threats. I think this behavior is looking good. We can now proceed to the next member of the group, the guards. I want the guards to have two behaviors. One is similar to the torch bearer where he scouts and the other is sitting behavior where they just sit, chill around and do nothing. We want them to chill and relax to conserve energy before the battle happens. It is unnecessary for all of them to patrol. We just need a few lower rank members and one rear guard to do the patrolling. Let's first have them move to the life essence, then make them sit when they arrive. And finally, we want them to face outward or sideways of the tree. Now let's test the guards. So, they behave as intended, but as you can see, the shields look off and weird. Let's fix this by rotating it as soon as they sit and adjust it back to its original rotation if the guard stands up. Let's have them sit and adjust the shields. We need to do this so that we can save the local rotation and the local position values. While at it, let's adjust the sword as well. Now let's test it. The sitting looks good, but we're now having an error for this type of shield. Let's fix that by letting the AI know which shield they are using and then adjusting the position and rotation values for it when this type of shield is used. Alright, the kite shield type looks good. Let's check the viking shield. Looks good too. So far, the sitting behavior is good. Let's now proceed to the patrolling guard. I don't want a guard to just stand there doing nothing. Let's add a looking animation for the guard when it's on patrol, similar to the torch bearers. To do this, we just need to add a patrolling layer to the guard's animation controller, similar to what we did with the torch bearers. Now, this looks better. Now, let's test all the members of the mercenary group. Looks great. Now, let's have the player approach the group to see what happens when we switch from idle mode to battle mode. Hmm. Sitters are not standing when they see the player. Let's fix that. Now, let's test the changes. I think it's working. What do you think of the new behavior? Comment down below your thoughts. The community is growing bigger every day and a lot are already chipping in their ideas. If you have thoughts and suggestions, feel free to comment down below. I'll be glad to read and reply to all of them. Let's make this game community driven. Let's have a final test for the new behaviors. By the way, I'll be giving you guys some sneak peek on what's to come by the end of this video, so stick around for the news. Also, don't forget to like the video to help our game reach other gamers out there that might be interested in our game. Building a community on YouTube is hard, especially if you're doing it solo. Every help from you guys matters a lot to me. So, so far, we finally reached the end of the development for the Mercenary Group. We started from combat animations to battle mode to flea mechanics down to modeling each member of the group with different varieties and finally we made it to the idle animations. The only remaining behavior that needs developing is when they chase you or hunt you. Let's leave that feature for future developments. So the plan moving forward is for every quarter of a year I'll be making a summary video of the features we've done so far. I've already spent 3 months developing this game and it's good to wrap things up every quarter. I will also show some data from our channel and our Steam wishlist and discuss development roadmaps for the next 3 months. So if you're not yet subscribed and want to follow development of the game, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updated. See you in the next video where I give a 3 month summary update on the progress of Wisplite's development. Till next time.